Hello and welcome back. This time we are going to talk about object modeling. Yeah. How to get an object from the real world. Said our object yeah, consists of methods and attributes. We have to define them somehow. Yeah. We have to find out what we can... How? How? Yeah. Well, it's not that easy. Important thing to know for you is that you cannot cover all. You cannot cover all. An object definition, object class definition, is always from a certain viewpoint. You cannot cover all attributes or all things uh, which an object might be. Because it simply depends on, on the application. I'll give you one example. A car. From manufacturer side, yeah, a car consists of several parts. Yeah. So there is the there is the type of the car, yeah. there is the color of the car, there is the audio system of the car. Yeah. There are the tires of the car, 15 inch, 17 inch, 18 inch yeah, rims. Yeah, these are all attributes which are necessary to build the car. Yeah. This means this is the viewpoint of the manufacturer. Yeah. The viewpoint of the, of the trader might be different. Yeah. He is interested in a car, price is interesting, yeah. then, then how old is the car? For the manufacturer, this does not really matter. Yeah? For the manufacturer, it's a new car. But the trader might also sell used cars. Yeah? So how old is the car? When, when was it produced? When was it the first time introduced to the markets, this model? Yeah? That's the viewpoint of the trader. Different thing. Yeah? Also, the, the officials... Uh, the officials might be totally different. Uh, for the officials, okay, the color is interesting, the type is interesting, but license plate. Uh, the trader, the manufacturer don't care about license plates. Uh, which number this car will get? No, but the official do. Uh, and they don't, for the car, they don't... Want, they do not only want to know the license plate, they also know which person is behind. Yeah? Is it the company? Is it the person? Where does he or she live? Yeah? Where is the company located? And so on. Who is paying insurance? Is there insurance? And pa, 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 pa. Totally different viewpoint. Yeah? This means it's not that simple to produce an object class. You really have to Think about, think about it, and there are diagrams which can help you. Yeah? We're not learning them. We're not learning them because we, this object modeling is also a whole process. You need experience and so on. Uh, but you should know there are diagrams. There are diagrams which show which objects are there, which classes. Yeah? They show maybe how many classes are there, how they are interacting. Like I said, the car. The object car consists of several parts. Uh, there's an engine, an object engine. This object engine is consisting of cylinders and, and pa, 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 crankshafts. Poof, yeah, and so on. Brrr. There is a whole map of objects which are interacting. That's, that's a diagram, object diagram. Yeah? You can see the methods which can be used by the object and so on. You can think about that. Yeah? That's not just just popping up during your coding. Yeah? There is preparation needed. Yeah? So, this is object modeling. And like said, do not make the mistakes and try to cover a lot of things in with your object, with your object model. Yeah? Focus on the task. This is advice for life. Kiss. Keep it small and simple. Don't blow up things until nobody knows what you're talking about. Like I currently do maybe a little bit. Yeah? 
So, I will end now. Huh? That's the thing of object modeling, which you hear from me. Next time, what is the plan? I have to look. What is the plan? Bah, next time we start. Next time we're programming our first object in C++. We are using Arduino for this, huh? like in our Arduino course. Huh? Now we are looking into the Arduino as an object. Huh? It's not Arduino anymore. It's my object. Yeah? And we want to kiss it, keep it simple, small. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.